guys because you came here to look over the edge with us. Boom, boom. Hello, everybody. I'm Mary Alice. Welcome to the virtual fireside. You know, once upon a time, there was a world that was in crisis. People were in conflict. They didn't know what to do. They felt stuck in their stories. Well, this is a time when we're going to explore those kind of stories and what you can do to move your own and our story on. Thank you so much for coming to the summit. I'm so looking forward to seeing you there. Aloha, talofa, aroha, which is greetings to you in three different Pacific Island languages. I'm here in Honolulu, Hawaii. And uh, behind me, you can see part of my city. And it's a nice image of a concrete jungle behind which you still see natural environment and a rainbow over it all, which is a lovely symbol that we can navigate the perfect storm of crises we have created for ourselves. So I'm delighted to be here with you all to talk about these deep, exciting transitional issues. Welcome to this summit about conflict. Uh, and I'm really glad that it's being organized and really grateful for all of you that are tuning in and turning your attention to this really important subject. I hope you find really useful things uh, for building good culture and for helping you with any difficulties or situations that are live for you. So a big welcome. Hello, welcome to Coming Down to Earth. Um, I am Claire Milne, I work for Starter Culture. Um, and I'm, well, firstly, I'm just delighted that you've chosen to show up here and give some of your precious time to, to listen um, to these um, webinar videos um, about conflict. Um, it feels like there perhaps isn't a more important time to be paying attention to um, conflict in our relationships and groups. Um, yeah, and I really, really hope that in watching these, you manage to, to get some of the, the rich juice that is being offered here um, as an invitation for us all to transform how we relate with conflict in our own lives as, a, as an offering to the, the, um, yeah, the pain and suffering that we're seeing play out in the world right now um, that, that you know, really does stem from the same ingredients that um, leads to conflict in our very own groups and relationships. So I really, really hope that what you hear today um, and in the coming days will really help you on your journey with that. And want to just thank Eva and Nuno for all of you, all that you've done to make this possible and Transition um, Network and the movement, um, because this is just such an incredible gift um, that is so, so needed um, in these times. So yeah, I'm deeply grateful for all of the work that you're doing. Hi, I'm Starhawk. I'm the author of the Empowerment Manual, A Guide to Collaborative Groups, and many other books. I want to welcome you here to this amazing summit, Coming Down to Earth, Conflict Transformation Online. Uh, it's a chance to hear from many, many teachers about ways that we can learn to work together more effectively and make all of our group more, all of our work more empowering and uh, more beneficial for each other and for our communities and for the planet. Great. Well, I am just delighted to be part of this Coming Down to Earth series where we're looking at the transformative power of working with conflict in a way that, um, yeah, that preserves human dignity and well-being. Uh, while at the same time really tapping into the energy of different perspectives. And um, yeah, I just, I, I wanna say that my big concern about conflict is that we tend to avoid it, avoid it, avoid it until we can't help it anymore and then we're in the middle of it. And we so need places where we can, we can look at it, where we can talk about it, where we can think about it, where we can share our knowledge and our feelings about it, rather than either just being right in the middle of it or else totally avoiding it because we're so scared of it because we just, we don't want to go there. So this series is, um, yeah, it just warms my heart to know that this is happening and uh, really, really happy to be a part of it. Thank you so much. Hey, my name is Ted Rao from Sociocracy for All. 
And in sociocracy, we use consent-based decision-making. So if somebody objects to a proposal, we try to find the valuable information that they're bringing and using it in order to improve the proposal. So I was thinking just now, an objection is like a little blip right, that we can turn into something more positive. Now just let's imagine how powerful it would be to use conflict like that. Like conflict is like 10 layers up from that. If we could learn from conflict and turn it into something better, wouldn't that be awesome? And that's where the summit is heading. And I really recommend you attend. So see you there, bye-bye. Welcome everybody to this summit. Um, I would like to welcome you to come in with an open mind what in Buddhism is called the beginner's mind. And I'm going to read to you a little a little poem re, uh, written by Suzuki Roshi. He's a Zen Buddhist, which I love very much. And uh, it he, he goes this way. It says, if your mind is empty, it is always ready for anything. It is open to everything. In the beginner's mind, there are many possibilities. In the expert's mind, there are few. So I hope all of you to come in with a beginner's mind and enjoy and make the most of this, of this wonderful summit. Y ahora lo voy a hacer en español. Bienvenidos a todos, queridos oyentes y participantes de esta cumbre. Eh, les, voy a, les, voy a, les voy a invitar para que entren con una mente abierta, lo que en budismo se llama una mente de principiantes. Um, y les voy a leer para hacer esto un pequeño poemita que escribió hace mucho tiempo Suzuki Roshi, que es un budista zen, que me gusta mucho su poema. Eh, lo voy a traducir del inglés al español y dice, um, si tu mente está vacía, está siempre abierta a todo, está abierta a cualquier cosa. En la mente de principiante hay muchas posibilidades. En la mente del experto, hay muy pocas posibilidades. Así que les pedimos a todos que entren con una mente de principiantes abierta al aprendizaje colectivo que nos queda por delante. Disfruten mucho. Chao. Welcome everyone. My name is Alison Pornes and I'm a Systemic Constellations Facilitator. And I've decided to share a quote that comes from uh, a person who is representing in a constellation, my, it's my friend, Helen Roberts. I'm sure she'll be surprised to hear that I'm quoting her. Um, but she was representing a beggar. And when she stepped into the field and asked, what does the beggar have to say to her? The beggar said, I don't want your empathy. I want your imagination. And I feel like that for me is, is the message that I receive when I when I sort of orient my heart towards the future that I'm wanting to co-create with you. Thank you. It would it would be lovely if if those of you who are participating in the summit or anticipating participating in the summit would start to welcome those who are coming because the summit has its greatest power if it in fact, becomes a community of the moment, a community of the now. So let's welcome each other. Hi, I'm Aniza, and welcome to the summit, Coming Down to Earth. Welcome, everyone. May this be the beginning of a deepening into the worldview and the lifestyle of conflict transformation that will bring you and all your relationships more alive, more present, more vibrant, forever and ever, a process that never ends. Thank you for being here. Welcome to the Coming Down to Earth Summit. And I wanna welcome you from my origins. I grew up in a Jewish immigrant family, a family of refugees who knew how to create warmth and connection under extremely difficult circumstances. And we would call that gathering, the family coming together, mishbrucha. Mishbrucha is a word from my culture 
And as you are coming down to earth, you are becoming part of my mishbrocha. Welcome. That was. I want to say that I show up here in this conversation with a three-year-old daughter holding the memory that my mother died 10 years ago. My invitation for this, this summit and this conversation is the lineage of connections as we manage the conflict of what we love that is lost and what we fear to lose because of what we love for the future. And what I feel in this moment in time is the opportunity to transform all of the pain and all of the fear of that tension into the transformation of human presence and human cultures on earth. So I would like to welcome and welcome everyone to this space uh, that has been co-created between everyone. And I think the, the welcoming that I want to bring in is um, I want to start by saying welcome to all tribes, all cultures, and all lineages that come through many different parts of the world, and all the ancestors and the people that walked before us. And I also would like to welcome the children and the future generations, the people that will come after us and will continue the, the lineage of human awareness and human relationships between the human kingdoms, the natural kingdoms, the vegetable kingdoms, and the seen and the unseen. For me, really, this is a space of noticing how many multicultural tribes we gather for one purpose, to try to understand better, try to engage better, with the journey of conflict evolution and conflict awareness. And I would like to um, read a little poem to welcome everyone. It's a poem from Rumi. And uh, it's one of my favorite poems because it really speaks about conflict and love and the relationship between conflict and love. And it's called The Way of Love. And it says, the way of love, it is not a subtle argument. At the doors of love, there is devastation. And birds make great sky circles of their freedom. And how do they learn? They fall. And falling, they are given wings. And I really feel like we are like those birds trying to make great sky circles of our freedom and learn to understand how to use our freedom. And I really feel like I fall often and I find wings in the fall. So I wanna really welcome everyone with those words of Rumi. And, um, and maybe also with just a moment of just silence and sensing ourselves and arriving and just noticing that we are all learning to fly and use our wings. Thank you. Thank you for your presence and for your coming. Welcome, dear ones, to come down to earth for conflict transformation. Come as you are, bring your earth, bring your water, bring your air, bring your fire, bring your spirit, bring your body, bring your emotions, and just be present as the holy, perfect, divine person you are. So welcome to the summit with all your gifts and your shadows and hopefully we'll surprise reality until it changes to a more beautiful one. Hello everyone. I'm so happy to be in this space with you. My name is Manish, Manish Shivasta, uh, and I am uh, speaking right now from India, Pune. And this is a great opportunity to share with you some of my insights that 
come from experience of working with conflicts at multiple levels and using contemplative social art as a method to dissolve the conflicts that hold us in our uh, hold us from expressing ourselves fully uh, and um, as a as a part of the invitation uh, i'm going to read a poem uh, that uh, i have written some time back and this poem is titled invitation from the unknown and why i'm reading this poem is because if we know the answer before a conflict resolution we are stuck so this is a invitation to to explore what is beyond what we know let's do it together invitation from the unknown just a few inches below the well formed and informed lies a free flow of life just a few inches below the well formed and informed lies a free flow of life dance between is and isn't self creating self destroying a dark river of bright light patterns of playful paradoxes a sangam of past and future timeless fragile fresh illusion if you dare to tear open if you dare to tear open the facade of known the flow of unknown will fill you breathe in life breathe out self take a dip dissolve thank you <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.